Welcome back. My name is Alan. Today we're going to be continuing with our coding exercises. Our last video was for set two, problem two, paying off a credit card debt within a year. This video will be for problem number three. Um, we are going to be doing the same thing but using bisection to make it faster. So this will include us um, adjusting our payment within an upper and lower bound uh, with, with which we are taking the average of. And uh, we are adjusting the upper and lower bound as we guess. So um, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Start a new untitled page here. Um, a few things we're going to need. We're going to have the same balance of 5,000, the same annual interest, which was 18% per year. And we're going to have our payments, which is going to consist of our low and our high boundaries and we're going to take right in between them so we will need low and high start with low at zero and high can be um, we'll start with the balance times interest rates uh, uh, one times the interest rate which should give us our first guess Yeah, okay. So that would be our current guess. 450. Um, so I guess we can go ahead and I wanted this because this makes our that would have made it very low. We would have been multiplying by our interest rate. We wanted to, we want the high balance to be high, so it would be five thousand plus like eight, eighteen cents or whatever. So this will keep this part as a whole number as opposed to having the multiplication within the parentheses. It would make it small again. Uh, so let's run this. Okay. Um, and, and and we'll make that more accurate. Um, so in the last one, we ran a while loop to keep running and guessing payments until we achieved one that we deemed. Uh, not that we deemed until we got one that 
left our balance less than zero. So it was paid off. So we will have a new balance, which we will need to update. And then, uh, let's see, we're working within 12 months again. Um, we will work within 12 months. That's what the last one was. I think we're just making an improved version of our last program. So in the range. Again, it is not inclusive, so for 12 months, this is what that would look like. And so there's our payment after, or our balance after we pay. And then we will need to apply our monthly interest rate. our annual interest rate divided by 12 and then yeah so then we'll need to run in this if loop so if everything is less than so if it's not paid off is what this is saying if it's not paid off, we'll have to adjust so that it will be paid off within our time frame. And this is going to be how accurate we want this to be. And we're going to round this payment to two spaces. Again, as we are dealing with money. So we'll have that. So that's what, if it is close enough, uh, if it's paid off, that will print our lowest payment. Otherwise, we will need to update our upper and lower bounds as needed. So if it is, if our balance is greater, then we will need to update our lower bound. And if our balance is less than what we want. We should update our higher bound. Um, so we'll pretty much be cutting in half our guesses every time until we get to what we're looking for. Should. So that's pretty close to what we actually had when we made our mistake earlier and we weren't uh, properly using our high bound. And I believe it's pretty close to what we got for our other question. So um, this should take care of everything. Um, yeah, I believe our last one was 460, and that needed to be multiples of 10. So it looks like we would be would have been overpaying just a little bit, um, and this is a more accurate payment if we want to get this taken care of within a year. So with that, um, 
we have completed problem 2.3 and I will save this and test it. Um, and with that, uh, I will say goodbye and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.